When Europeans discovered the Americas, they conquered it and described it as a new discovery, the new land, and this is despite civilization having already been present here. Long before Columbus, another effort was made by Europeans to settle the Americas. Vinland, or the land of wine, isn't listed on any modern map, but over 1,000 years ago, it served as the stage for a monumental moment in world history. Wait till you hear this. Icelandic sagas record it as the place where, over 500 years before Columbus ever sailed a ship, the Vikings first, the first Europeans to set foot on the so-called New World, even building a short-lived settlement. By 980 AD, the North Sea Ferals had already established colonies in Iceland and Greenland, the Atlantic stepping stones that brought them within range of the Canadian coast. From there, according to the oral reports of the time, written down two centuries later in the saga of the Greenlanders and the saga of Eric the Red, the Vikings stumbled upon the North Americans around 1000 AD. And over the next couple of decades, they made several expeditions to this new to them world. They built homes, harvested resources, they traded and clashed with the natives. Then, as quickly as they arrived, they abandoned the Vinland. The two accounts often differ. In the saga of the Greenlanders, after the accidental sighting of unknown western lands, Leif Erikson explores three distinct regions of Canada. Hello Land, or the land of the flat stones, which was probably the barren Baffin Island. Mark Land, or land of forests, which was probably along the Labrador coast. And Vinland, a warm region in what is now the province of Newfoundland, where Ericsson and a small crew wintered. In the saga of Eric the Red, Ericsson is the accidental discoverer of Vinland, and an Icelandic merchant named Forfin Karlsfin. Detailed aside, we now know these tales are at least broadly true. The Vikings did venture to North America in roughly the timeline in the sagas described, making them the first people to bridge the world's oldest cultural divide.